guys and welcome to Anton26. We got a new episode uh, today and I'm about to show you how we can replace the hard disk at this HP laptop, at this Hewlett Packard laptop. So let's open and focus on a problem. We plug in the power cable, we press the power button. And I don't know if you can hear this specific sound came from hard disk. And here is the message. The weird sound from hard disk has already stopped. And here is the message. Boot device not found. Please install an operating system on your hard disk. Hard disk 3FO. Ask to system diagnostic. For more information, please visit www.hp.com for a startup situation. We already know that we must replace our hard disk, so let's get started. We shut it down and remove the cable. So, first move, we close it, we turn it around, we will remove the battery. and we are ready to remove every screw around it. Here is the tip of the day. When someone else has already tried and opened up this laptop, like you already see, there is one screw that is missing. So I must find another way to remove the hard disk. It will be more easy if some screws are not damaged, because the only thing I should do is remove this and this. But now I must find a new path in order to remove the hard disk. So I'm gonna remove this thing right here. In order to have access to the other screws. And it's like nothing happens. Simple as that. The only thing we have to do right now is to replace it with a new one. Here is a brand new. It's made from Western Digital. It's a 500 gigabytes, half terabyte. It's blue edition. So let's open it up. We will remove the sidebar from the old one.
and we will deliver the damage one at customer because it belongs to him. And the final step, we put everything back together. It's time for the back cover. We make a last check to see if all screws are well back together. And now we are ready to put the battery back on its place. Now if I'm right, the only damage is the hard drive that we already replaced. So let's make the final check. Okay guys, it seems that we are ready for our first test. So we hit the power button. And let's see what is going on. Okay, it seems that we have the same message, but you don't have to worry you press F2 for system diagnostics so in order to check our disk our brand new disk so we hit F2 and here says memory test hard drive check language and exit we're gonna choose the second option hard drive check we need a quick check and we're gonna need two minutes so let's wait and here are the results that smart check passed short DST passed so it's time for BIOS settings and install the Windows 7 so we press Control Alt and delete and then we're gonna hit F10 F10 button and here we go okay we have to set the right boot priority so we have to go at system configuration and then at boot option and here is the tricky part we need legacy support which is disable and what is legacy support 
here says that when legacy support is enabled, BIOS will load compatibility support module to support legacy operating system shots as Windows 7. And we need Windows 7 right now. So we need it enabled. And it's time to escape and save our changes. Okay, we need this code 0403 and enter. 0403 and enter to complete the change. And if everything is okay, we will see the Windows loading files. And the computer will start to install Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate Edition. That was my video of uh, how you can replace your hard drive or your HP. If you like what you just saw, just hit the like button. If you have any questions, just let me know at the comments below. This was another video for Antrim26. Thanks for watching. Please be safe and take care of yourself. See you next time.